Hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we finally made our way back to Tiber River. We actually have some cash in hand. We've got around $30,000 in cash. And we were still able to make the trip and get everything geared up like we should. Now, I am over here at the Breathy Bridge. This is a portion of the Tiber River that is supposedly got a lot of wells catfish eel and several other species i've been told it's a good place to go to apparently as well uh barbel and european carp now i haven't seen the barbel in this particular game so we kind of cool to catch a few but anyway we're going to come here and try our luck in this location to start off with and maybe in the next episode we'll move down i know we're going to end up going back to whoa I'm already getting a bite here I went ahead and set up here at the base of the bridge you can't fish off the bridge unfortunately I wish you could but I think it's number two yep it is and it's a big fish I had just got everything set up now this one has shrimp on it so that opens up a lot of variety of species that we can catch and looks like it's a Wells catfish yes a young Wells catfish hundred and nine eh, not bad <coughs> we'll keep him I'm gonna try to throw this out under this bridge just to see thing is though it seems like a lot of times it gets caught on the bridge and that's exactly what it did it's real hard to do it unless you've got a boat like that guy does over there looks smoking floating <laughs> he's a level 50 Jesus damn it's really hard to get over there well, we'll just try to get right in front of that thing. All right. I think I'm going to look at this other one here real quick just to see, let you see what I've got on it. And I've got a frog. And... Then again, the whales catfish will go for that as well. Only had one, so I thought I might as well get it out of my inventory. But so far, nothing's really been biting off of it, so I might take it off and put something for carp over there, because the carp are there. And I am using my all-round 10 foot by 10 inch here on the one that's on the thing is the all-round 12 foot by 12 10 inch both of these are a little bit heavier I've got the Prima 3000 reel on this one 0.009 floral line and 7 8 inch sinker number two hook number two or two odd that's a pretty variable range there and this one is also pretty much the same except a bigger sinker 1.34 ounce this is a little bit heavier rod so we can pull in heavier bigger fish but as far as what I'm going to replace this with I am I mean there's a lot of options here we got the shiners we got the shrimps like we got on the other we got plenty of those small cut bait we got we got predator carp. I don't think we have predator carp here. Let's just go ahead and let's just use car, uh, corn. Yeah, let's just put corn on there for now. Yeah, somebody got some uniques just now. Now I am not very familiar with this particular peg, so. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. Not sure what I can and can't use. I'm sure level 50 over there is probably very familiar with it. But I think I might get out my 
bullfrog popper. There are asp out here and they do go for a variety of lures and poppers are one of them. So it might give it a try just to see. These guys will go for it as well. I've got some walkers, some other frogs, some other poppers. So we're going to try them, see if that works. Ah, there we go. Okay, it's number two again. We'll just switch that off. Oh, it's both of them. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, wow. Ah, of course. Damn, that is a big fish. Let's get this one in. Youngwell's catfish. We'll keep him. And now he's probably gone. Oh, yeah, son of a gun. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like he got my bait, so we'll just leave it out there. Ah, uh, shoot, let me see. I gotta do some finagling here. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of the small wells catfish. Let's see, let me throw it over here, maybe maybe something down there would be better. I've been trying this a little bit. Let's switch over to a crankbait here. This handle is it too heavy? I think it might be too heavy. That's all right. We can go over to this rod. Eh, I don't know. Let's try a crankbait. Supposedly the asp go for these too, but uh, yeah, they, apparently they do. <laughs> nice. So what do we got here? New personal record? That's because it's the first one I've caught. No wonder they're going after them. Those are worth a lot. Nice. Very nice fish. So I've got the 3 aught 6 foot crankbait. First try throwing it out and I caught one. I've got it all the way down, so I'm reeling it in very, very slow. There's another one. Damn. <laughs> yeah, this is like this is more like it. Yeah, he wasn't quite as big as the last one, but he isn't bad. I might need to t 
take that down just a notch. It's getting a little far into the red. All I need to do is get a... If I happen to get a trophy, he's going to snap it. I don't remember if they come in unique or not. Well, it looks like my little buddy's back. It's number one, guys. Finally. And it is the corn. So it's probably a carp. Could be a barbel. I don't know. I have not seen any barbel yet. I've only caught those in Russian fishing. Let's see here. It is a young common carp. Let's throw it out here. See if there's anything different out here in the middle. Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god! I didn't even do anything with it. Did you see that, guys? Jeez! Oh, man, this is awesome. This is awesome, guys. Another personal record. He's a big one. Damn. And that's not even a trophy yet. Yeah, it was probably smart of me to adjust that, because it really seems to have... I could still get him in, but not put so much strain on my line. I don't know. It's number one. Ooh, this is this is this is a good fish. This is a good fish. Oh boy. Yeah. And I'm gonna have to get him in by working for it, guys, because this guy is going to break the line if I put the tension up anymore. So we're just gonna have to work him. Damn, this is a big fish. He's coming, but not quickly and not easily. Well, now he's pulling it back out again. Let's see here. Come on, big guy. Yeah, this is the... This rod isn't quite as big as the other one, but... It usually does pretty good. We've almost got him. I think it's a big old carp. There you go. Now we're talking. 6.260 pounds. It's a decent carp. Yeah, they're right out there in the middle, guys. Right out there. That's not what I wanted to do, but we'll, let's see, this, number one, there we go. Well, I've got him switched now, so that's going to be not too good. Looks like the current's taking my crankbait. Here we go again. Can't tell which one it is though. It needs to do a little bit better than that. I'll be damned. There we go again. Let 
Yeah, this crankbait is great. There's another one. This would probably be our grinder fish, guys. Those are the brown trout down in the southernmost peg. We got him. He's on the corn. I think it's probably a young carp. Yep, young common carp. I think I might upgrade the hook here, guys. Let's take it up to a three odd. And let's try the sweet corn. how much of a difference that'll make, but maybe we'll get the bigger carp that way. Now we got him. It may be another young common carp. I'm getting a lot of those. All right, let's let's switch her up here, guys. Go for something else. <coughs> let's try good old-fashioned shiners. pull number one in as well and I've got any had any bites over on this one so I'm going to switch that off I think we'll try some let's try these spawn sacks go again. There we go. This guy's a little bit bigger. Okay, this has got to be at least a full-size Wells catfish. And now I'm getting a bite off the other one. And here we go at 550. <laughs> Big old fat dude. 13.179 pounds. Very nice. Okay, we got him this time. I 
another young one. Oh, and we got another one off of this one. Well, he quit. Number two again. Yep, and he might be decent. Young Wells. No. Well, guys, I am going to try one more time to see if these guys are going to bite. And it looks like that one that keeps pecking at that one reel got my bait but I'm gonna try this one more time and if it doesn't work we're gonna go ahead and call this an episode yeah this isn't a bad place for ass but I think you definitely have to be here during the peak period and the crankbait worked best for me but unfortunately the period went by so fast and right now we're just not getting the bites but if anybody has any ideas of other types of baits or lures to use or float fishing is better please put it in the comments below because as I said, this is the first time I've been on this peg. I've had it suggested that I fish here, but other people are obviously catching them, so I'm just not hitting the right combination of things. Except during the peak period when the asp were really biting. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. Hopefully by then we will have learned a few things. And maybe we could check out another peg, guys. But see, they're catching them over there. That's what I'm talking about. So they're, I can't tell if they're float fishing or what they're doing. But for me, it's slowed down. So anyway, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.